Hello and welcome to the 26th part in this series of tutorial videos on programming in C. In the last video, remember that we were looking at the bitwise AND operator and we were taking a sort of fictional machine status with four switches and we used the AND operator to see which switches were on and which switches weren't on. So I've changed the code slightly now and in this video we're going to be looking at the bitwise OR operator and actually use this operator to switch a switch that isn't on into the ON position. So I've moved our stasis machine and check switch B and check switch C out of the main function to global status in this file. And I've added on check switch A and check switch D so that now we've got coverage of all of our four bits with our four switches, with A being the fourth bit and D being the first bit, the least significant bit. And our status of the machine is the same as it was at the end of the last video. A 0, 1, 1, 0, which means switch A is off, switch D is off, B and C are on. Now before I go into playing around turning some switches on, the code I had inside the main in the last video to print the status of the machine is now going to end up being repeated. So I'm going to move this into a couple of functions which I've prepared and we're going to sort of copy across and explain now. And the first thing is actually to print this code to print the machine status. I've actually put in going to put a function called print on off. That's going to take a character of the name of the switch. It's going to take the switch number, which is actually this will be this number here, so the corresponding bit that the switch is represented by, and also the full status of the machine. In fact, thinking about it now, it doesn't even need to take that because that's global, so we'll take that off and save that. And then in the print and off function itself, I'm going to put below the main function and just talk through how it works, taking off the status of machine here. OK, so all this does is exactly the same as the code at the end of the last video. It does a bitwise AND with the machine status and the switch number we've been given. And depending on whether this AND is true or false, it says the switch is on or off. So there's nothing new there at all. This was covered in the previous video. And the only other thing I wanted to add was then a function which calls this for all four switches. And this is this print status function here, where the definition will be added at the top of the file as so, and the code I shall add in here. And this also should be, I'll put this below, print on off. Very, very self-explanatory. It says machine status and simply calls print on off for each of the switches A, B, C, and D, except I don't need that anymore, so I realised at the start of this video that uh, it's global. OK, so once we've got this added in, I simply need to print the status in main. And let's save the file and go over to the console and compile and run. And you can see that we get machine status. A is off, B is on, C is on, and D is off, which is what we see here in the bits and is all done using our bitwise AND operator. So now it's the bitwise OR operator. The way we can use the bitwise OR operator is to actually turn on switches that aren't in the ON position. So let's have a look at quickly at how the bitwise, a refresh on how the bitwise OR operator actually works. If I take our machine status, and let's say I take switch A. So let's just remind ourselves of what these are. Now if I OR this together, you remember with an AND we get the result of 1 if both bits are 1. Well in the OR, if either of them are a 1, then we get the result 1. So an OR result here will give us a 1, 1, 1, 0. And as you can see, the effect, what has effectively happened is we've got the same as the machine status, but now we've added in effectively, or switched on, the bit representing switch A. So if we set status as machine equal to this result, we would be turning on switch A. So we could do something like this. Status of machine, the OR operator is this pipe, and check switch A. And that has the effect of giving us the 1110 and turning on the switch. What I'll do very quickly here is just print out status of machine as a decimal value, so you can see that its value has actually changed. 
and I'll do that here and I'll take out the print status for now so we've just got the decimal values and compile and run and I will just spell printf correctly as well and run and now you can see the status of the machine started off with a value of 6 which is correct that's 0, 1, 1, 0 so 0, a 4, a 2 and 0 and now it's gone to status 14 and that's because a is worth 8 and 6 plus 8 is 14 so we've got the status 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 gives us a decimal of 14 so you can already see the switch is being turned on here now I'll take these printf lines out because it looks much prettier to do it printing the actual machine status using the function so after this using the or to turn on the switch I can save this and then compile and run the program and you can see that now that switch A has moved from the off to the on position like this of course we can do exactly the same with bitwise operators as we do with say dividing adding multiplying operators and we can shorten this expression here naturally simply make it like this just as we would do with a plus equals when we're incrementing say a variable to give us exactly the same result there we go we can see that switch A has now been turned on and in the same way if we want we can turn on switch D and we'll end up with all four switches in the on position there you go so that's a hopefully fairly simple explanation of how the bitwise or operator is working in the next video we'll have a look at how we turn a switch off using the bits bitwise complement operator so the tilde hope that was clear thanks very much for watching comments questions criticisms welcome as always on youtube